Yoho, Mina. This is um, Lucia Eyes 505, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to draw for beginners. And so I'm going to talk about some of the mistakes beginners tend to do and things like that. And I made a video of me drawing just to give you a couple pointers. Um, this is a request by um, Swimmy Blue, and uh, she says just to call her Ami or Swimmy, so I'm going to call you uh, Ami Sun, I guess. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, uh, let me just start the video so I can talk about it while I'm watching it. Okay, I always start with a circle for the base so, you know, size is right. And you want to make sure when you're curving, curve, use the curve tool for the lines for the head. Because uh, you don't want it looking too pointy. Um, and for the, I always do the neck after I'm done with the head, but I'm going to mess up on that, so adding more. You want to make sure it's not too thin, but not too fat. To erase just one color, you select the color and then you right click. It's a neat little tidbit. Oh, and then you right click on the color if you want to like color it something different. And oh goodness, it's getting ahead of me. Um, yeah, and you click on the color that you want it to turn that you want to change, and then you just right click. And to make the eraser bigger, you circle plus. And the red circle is so that I don't get my eye too big. And I'm right now I'm just making it so that the eye is smooth after putting out my base for the eye. Adding in some eyelashes, the bottom one. I prefer thick ones because I think that's cute for the bottom lash. Whew, and now I colored it yellow so that I can just color all the white bits black. I hope this is making sense because I don't... Eh, I'm bad at talking. <laughs> okay. Uh, pupils, you want to make sure those aren't too big but aren't too small because if they're too big it'll look like they're like sucking in the whole eye. And that'll look silly. Alright, so now you'll see me erase the red, and I'll copy the eye. That way I don't have to draw a whole new eye, I can just get that one. Okay. Then you just paste, flip, rotate. And uh, now I'm going to do the nose. You, I add a second line, because I think that adds more depth. And um, the mouth is just a simple mouth, just two lines, very easy to do. And for the hair, I just did um, that off to the side part because that's a really quick style. And I uh, figured since this, I did this in five minutes, so I figured the be faster the hair, the better. Okay, so just do the hair. You want to make sure that your um, hair sections aren't too chunky, because you know that's uh, another mistake. Well, not exactly a mistake, but you know thing beginners tend to do. It might not look as good as it could, but. So, oh, and if you don't want to draw ears, you just draw hair in front of the ears. And um, this drawing section is going to finish really shortly. And uh, then we're going to talk about something different. Okay, it's over. Like right now. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about, like, I made a comparison pick, so one second. Okay, um, now I made a comparison pick, as you'll be able to see. Anyway, um, well, I did the best I could at a beginner's drawing. It's kind of hard since, well, my beginner's drawing didn't look like this, but I did a bit of research when I'm playing with the mic, that probably isn't good. I did a bit of research into what they look like normally, and I saw about like five or ten pics that ended up looking like the half of that drawing that I did. Anyway, um, one of the things is they often make the pupil too big for the eye. It's um, it's because anime eyes are big in general, so naturally you go to the pupil. The pupils are supposed to be big, but not quite that big. And the lines of the eyes are too a bit too thin. And you want them to be more round, like the picture I did. I was going to say the experienced picture I did, but I think I'm about intermediate. And the nose. It's often, like, this really long pointy thing located really far above the mouth. But normally, like from a front view, it's just a line. Or like in line where it's aligned with a bit of black. But I think that's supposed to be like shading. And um the mouth is often just a line. Unless it's an open mouth. But anyway, it's often just a simple line, but it should be closer to the nose. Because you notice if you look at your face, it's not that far down. Oh, and the lips I've done, uh I picked those up from Revolutionary Girl Utna. I really like the way those mouths looked, so I started drawing them like that. So, anyway. Oh, and for color, color, uh, 
I like doing a shading color for the pupil and the darker part. And I messed up, I often do a disc of color, which I picked up from some other YouTubers. And if you want to color lips, which I've done a couple times, and I'm probably going to put some example pics in this, um, you want to make sure that it's not all just one color. Like, that's the good thing about drawing an upper lip and a bottom lip. You can fill in all, and it just doesn't look like this, where it just looks like you have a bit of pink around your mouth. And, uh, I think that looks nice. And you want to be sure to add a little bit of shine, because, you know, when you put on lipstick, it adds a bit of shine on your mouth. Well, unless you're a guy, then I hope you would know what kind of shine your lips get when you put on lipstick. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Be sure that your whole eye is big, not just your pupil. You want to make sure that your lines are thick and nice and round. Your nose is, um, well, not that far above your mouth. And just a simple mouth is fine. And just, if you have any questions about my tutorial, or if something didn't make sense to you, or you want me to make a tutorial for something else, I can also do simple animations. Um, I'm not good at full bodies yet, so I would not, I just do that by, you know, like, how, how I think that would go. So I can't really help you there because I don't really have a steady method. But if there's something else you want to know, um, or something that didn't make sense, um, so just like comment, and rate the video, and fave, and subscribe, if you like my videos, and I always want more friends, so send me friend invites. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!